I am Professor L.B. Gaikwad. Today I am teaching you the poem A Red Red Rose by Robert Burns. This is the romantic poem and the poem is very much a famous poem because this poet is loving his beloved. Exactly we cannot say that there is the beloved or there is the lover. Means the subject or the speaker is the lover or the beloved, we can say. So remember here, the poet says or the beloved says or the lover says, Oh, my love is like a red, red rose. Means according to him or according to her, the love means his or her love is like a red red rose like a red red rose it means that he or she has repeated here the love as red red rose means it is too much red flower rose flower and we know that the rose flower is a symbol of love and that's why here robert burns has given us the line like a red red rose that is newly sprung in june it means that that red red rose is newly sprung means just it is sprung means just it is it is risen it is got up in june means in the month of june it is just got up in the month of june means it is really very very attractive very very fresh or very very beautiful flower in the month of june and in this way the poet is comparing here his beloved or the beloved is comparing here the lover with the flower which is from just in the month of may that is the explanation. Oh, my love is like the melody. Means here again the comparison is that the poet is making the comparison of his beloved or lover with the melody. So what is melody? Melody is the particular music. Melody is the particular sound. Melody is the particular tune. The melody is the particular, I will say, ear pleasing sound by which we can stop somewhere means when we listen to the music we stop there because we have that experience so here oh my love is like the melody means his or her love is like the melody or the love is like the music and that music is very much ear pleasing that is the explanation that is sweetly played in tune. It means that, that is, means that love is sweetly. Sweetly means very, very attractively, very, very nicely uh, played in tune. Means the poet says that, that love is like this, that everybody can uh, play that love. Or everybody can follow that love and he or she can follow it and they can love like the poet or like his beloved or like the lover. So remember here that is the explanation. So fair art thou means he says that my beloved is very much fair. Fair means beautiful. Beautiful means he is very much uh, uh, very much very much beautiful very much beautiful in looking and that's why he says so fair art thou means he is talking uh, with her and he tells that his beloved is there uh, in front of him or he is making the imagination of his beloved and he says that so fair art thou art means today's art a r e r so fair art thou means you are very much fair you are very much beautiful according to the poet my bonnie lass my bonnie lass means his beloved is 
बॉनी लैस इट मीन्स दैट एट्रैक्टिव यंग लेडी नाउ वेन वी वेन वी सी दिस और वेन वी स्टडी दिस माई बॉनी लैस देन इट इज एग्जैक्टली द थिंग दैट द पोइट इज टॉकिंग विथ हिज बिलवेट बिकॉज माई बॉनी लैस इज आर द वर्ड्स विच आर शोइंग द बॉनी मीन्स एट्रैक्टिव एंड लैस मीन्स a very very 16 years old girl that is less and that's why the poet is talking here about the beautiful uh, beloved and so his beloved is very fair and very bonny less so deep in love am i means am i means the poet is very much deep in love means the poet is loving too much with his beloved or the poet is loving his beloved Uh, too much. That is the explanation, and that's why he says so deep means very, very greatly by heart with her. The poet is loving his beloved, and that's why he says so deep in love. Am I? Means I am in love very deep, uh, and I will love thee still, my dear. Means what is the explanation? The explanation is that and. i will love the this is the spelling of love means l o v e is the spelling and here it is the old english that's why l u v e is love and that's why he says i will love the still means still means what still he will love her means he is he will not forget the love of his beloved means the love of his beloved is not uh like forgetting and that's why uh, he says uh, and i will love thee thee means you why were you i will love you i will love you still still means uh, many years means uh, this still is showing that his love is every time fresh and that's why he will love her uh, still my dear and he is again and again Uh, telling us that his beloved is dear and she is very much dear to him till a uh, or again remember till a uh, uh, or again the seas gang dry the seas means uh, seas it means that the uh, seas gang dry means the gang means the uh, way w a y way the Sea gang or the gang of the sea means the way of the sea means all the seas their passages their I will say their ways means their places all the seas uh, will dry means they will th there will be no water in the seas but the love of the poet will be continued means all the seas all the oceans will stop. the there will be no water everything will be dried means the oceans will be dried but the love of the poet will not dry that is the uh, that is the gravity or that is the bigness or that is the greatness of his love that is the point and uh, uh, the seas gang dry now we have come to the third stanza and in the third stanza the poet says that till a uh, or till again the seas gang dry my dear means the poet says my dear one day will come and all the seas or oceans will stop means all the seas all the oceans will have no water the water will be dried but the love of the poet will not be dried that is the explanation in this line now and the rocks melt with the sun means the sun will give the heat to us and because of that heat all the rocks on the earth will be melted means there will be no rocks and uh, the rocks will be melted but the love of the poet will not be melted or the love of the poet will not be ended that is the explanation here because the sun will give heat 
heat and heat, heat and heat and because of that heat, the rocks on the earth will be melted but the law of the poet will not be melted. That is the explanation. I will love thee still. Means there will be no rocks. There will be no earth. Everything will, will be uh, finished. Everything will be vanished. Everything will be ended. But still the poet will love thee still. Means the poet says that I will love thee still. Means I will love you still. Means the poet will love his beloved. At, this, at that time, to that time, uh, there will be no rocks, there will be no seas. The water of the seas will stop permanently, the rocks will stop permanently, but the love of the poet will not stop. He will love his beloved very nicely. So, I will love thee, means I will love you still, my dear. My dear means he is talking again and again uh, to his beloved my dear while the sands of life shall run means remember here the poet is talking that while while means at that time the sands sands means the total earth oh life shall run shall run means the life will be running the life will be running there will be no rocks there will be no seas, but the life will be running. And in that running situation of the life, the poet says, and fair thee will my only love. Means the exact uh, explanation is that while at that time the sands, oh, life shall run. Means life shall run. Means there will be life. But that life will not be exactly beautiful because there will be no rocks, there will be no uh, seas, everything will be melted, everything will be ended and so that life will be a very different type of life. But the fair beloved will be with the poet and that's why the poet says and fair thee means you will be very much fair. You will be very much beautiful, uh, uh, will my only love. But he is only love. L U V -E means what? Love. So, will my love, will uh, my only love means only his love will be there. There will be no rocks, there will be no seas, but only the love of the poet will be there. That is the explanation and fair thee and fair fair means beautiful thee bhanje you are means the beloved will be very much fair very much beautiful uh, will a while a while means for the short period means everything will be ended the earth will be uh, we can we can imagine that the earth will be ended up to some extent there will be the life running on this earth and at that time the beloved will be fair means the beauty of the beloved will not be will not be ended that beauty will be with the beloved and so he says and fair the uh, will a while a while means for the short period for the short period only uh, she will wait for the uh, lover means for the poet and again that beloved means and fair thee will uh, a while means only for the short time she will wait for the poet because there will be nothing the earth will be uh, vanished or uh, there will be a little bit life on the earth and the rocks will not be there the seas uh, will not be there only at that time the beloved will be there alone and she will be waiting for the poet and that's why the poet is uh, telling that and fair the will of heal means for this for some time the beloved uh, will be waiting for him will be waiting for him because uh, then what will happen she will be waiting what will happen and i will come again and the poet again will go to his beloved 
his beloved would be waiting for him his beloved would be waiting for him and then the poet will go to his beloved and again they will uh, meet each other and i will come again my love l u h e that is the love this is old english and today we say l o v e love so and again i will come again my uh, love though it were 10000 mile means though the poet is 10000 miles away from his beloved though the poet will be will be 10000 miles away from his beloved he will go there to his beloved and he will love his beloved in this way the poet has made here the exaggeration of his love or the greatness of his love and i will say that this is the romantic poem which is written in uh, uh, 1794 and this poem is written by robert burns this is the and the language of the poet is scot language and he has written in this uh, language so uh, this is the poem which is the small poem and this is the romantic poem and the poet has told about his beloved here the personality of his beloved and he has said that his beloved is very much uh, beautiful fine fair and all the world will will stop but his love will not stop with his own beloved so this is the poem which i have told you i have explained i have taught how you felt about this poem please tell me in the comment box till i stop thank you thank you very much